What's up guys, Justin here with the CGEssentials.com back with another Blender quick tutorial for you. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about how to adjust your camera clipping so that things aren't getting clipped out of your view inside of Blender. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So sometimes when you open up a really large or really small model like this one um, inside of Blender, you're gonna notice that your camera starts clipping out pieces of the model. Right, so in this case, this is kind of a larger model. You can see how there's a number of other models around here, but as I rotate around, things keep getting clipped out of my view. And so the reason for this is actually a hardware saving measure that the camera view inside of uh, Blender uses. So basically what it's doing is it, because of the size of this model, it's clipping out part of this model. And this also starts with really small objects as well. And it's something that kind of saves your computer from trying to render out super large scenes. And especially with really big stuff, it makes a ton of sense. However, it can also get really frustrating. And so the way that you can fix this is, let's say for example, that you've got this model and you want to extend your camera view so you can see everything in the background. Well, in order to fix this, what you can do is you can go into your view settings. So your view has a number of different settings in here that adjust the way that your camera works. Well, specifically in this situation, we want to focus on the end of the clipping. So you can see how there's a clip start and a clip end. So the clip start talks about how close to your camera things need to be before it starts showing them. And then the end is how far away things can be from your camera um, before they start getting clipped out. So in this situation, for example, let's say we were to take this from 1,000 meters and type in a value of 2,000 meters and hit the enter key. Notice how now, things in the background are no longer being clipped out. So everything is showing up um, from a 2,000 meter standpoint. So now from here to 2,000 meters out, everything's being shown. Notice I could also come in here and I could type in a value of like 3,000, I would get even more. So you can see how at a value of 3,000, nothing's really being clipped in the background anymore. So you can set your view so that it's not clipping things out by adjusting that value. You can also, if I had a value of like 2000 in here, you could click and drag this in order to slide it. And you can see how as I slide it, things are getting clipped out less and less in the background. So you can use this in order to adjust that setting. One other thing to note about this is not only does this work um, when it comes to your view, you also have clipping settings associated with your actual 3D camera. So um, for example, if I was to add a camera, so I'll do a shift A, we'll add a camera, so that camera got added way over here, right? And we're gonna go ahead and lock our camera to our view for right now. And we're gonna kind of move it off to the side a little bit. But notice how you've got the same issue here with your camera. So as of right now, my camera is clipping things out beyond a certain distance. So if I was to try to render this or something like that, I wouldn't get the front of my spaceship. So you can adjust this by selecting your camera and then going down to the object data properties. And notice how this has the same settings that your view has. So this camera, for example, which we currently have active, has the same view settings. You can see how as I click and drag this, my clipping length is gonna get longer. And notice as my clipping length gets longer, I can see more inside of my scene. So not only can you set your clipping in your view, you can also set it associated with an actual camera inside of Blender as well. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below, let me know what you thought. Have you had issues with clipping in the past? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new Blender content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.